It seems like there's no way to get around paying higher and higher gas prices, but members of one local group says there's a cheaper, cleaner way. Instead of filling up, they plug in. Stephanie Berletic has the details. When Michael Barkley drives, he's only paying two cents per mile, a drastic difference from the ever skyrocketing gas prices. But he doesn't drive just any car. His is electric. I was trying to prove to myself after seeing on the Internet that other people were making electric cars and driving them since the 80s. I wanted to see if I could do it as well. He met that challenge, but he didn't stop there. The North Texas Electric Auto Association member is always finding new ways to improve. And whenever I take the electric car to the gas station to get gas for the riding the lawnmower, people were there were like, well, why is he pulling up there? So I said, well, that has to change. That's right. He turned his gas-guzzling riding lawnmower into an efficient machine that runs on electricity. Berkeley charges his tractor with solar panels and uses solar and wind energy to help power his home. Fellow Electric Auto Association member Ron Mohan uses an electric scooter because saving the environment is just as important as saving a buck. I really wish to see many people using this and uh, start conserving more, more gas so we can keep it for our uh, younger generations. Berkeley says it's not hard to flip the switch to electric. Berkeley transformed his car with just $2,500 and with help from fellow electric power enthusiasts. Stephanie Berletic, First News.